If you're like me, then you're probably still reeling over the games of 2023. But regardless of whether we're ready for it, a new month of games is about to be brought to us, and with a new month comes a new list from us. I know for us personally, this is one of our more anticipated months of the year, with a few of my personal favorite cozy games being brought to us, and the RPG side of me being pleased with titles such as Banisher's Ghost of New Eden and a certain new pirate game keeping that sense of adventure on the horizon. As always, you can expect something for everyone to be on this list. Whether you love JRPGs, shooters, action adventure, or the cozy and casual titles you can enjoy a cup of hot cocoa with, we have it here. Because gaming representation matters. Teasing aside, I have such a random assortment of genres I enjoy that, honestly, most of these games appeal to me. But a few we've chosen to feature due to members of our community doing the obsessing for us. That reminds us, don't forget to tell us your favorite genre in the comments, as we truly do cater these towards our community and their own gaming interests. So if you include yours into the fray, we'll get it added. Except for horror. Sorry, we don't do horror. <laughs> With all that out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. And by that, I mean all the wonderful games releasing in February of 2024. The time is right. Let them have it, fellas. A power that takes many forms it might even prove to be your salvation. This is a title that hasn't left our Discord conversations for more than a day or two. A fair few people in our community are excited for Persona 3 Reload, and omitting it from the list would have been criminal, even if I'm not as big a fan as everybody else. If you're a lover of JRPGs, then you'll be happy to know that this one is finally arriving this month. And considering how beloved the Persona series is, I imagine it'll be another good one, even if it's just a remake. I can't lie, I've been watching heat on this game for weeks. From larger news networks to smaller creators, I can't say I've heard many positives for the title. I'm genuinely worried for it, but I'm choosing to feature it nonetheless to inform the community to prepare themselves. I'd like to think the game can't be as bad as some are making it seem, and a lot might just be drama between the news networks, but I know enough fans of the superhero subseries that it would be odd not to feature it. Regardless, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the end with this one. The next entry in the Murderer's Game Over series arrives this month, and honestly, we're quite excited. We were allowed to play and stream the second game, and we had a blast with the community. The game, despite being an indie title, was actually an incredible Scooby-Doo adventure that satisfied that murder mystery interest without the normal gore or gruesomeness that tends to come with them. Needless to say, we're excited for its release and look forward to sharing it on stream with our community again. We're literally obligated to cover Helldivers 2 because a dear fort friend of ours is an avid fan of the original Helldivers, and he's jumped into so many gaming sessions for titles out of his comfort zone that I'm going to force myself out of my comfort zone just to experience this game with them. Now, I can't really say I don't enjoy a first-person or third-person shooter experience, so it's not like I'll be kicking and screaming about it. But trust me when I say we'll be uploading Ducky's footage of the game, not mine. Regardless, you can expect some content from us on this one. Ducky adores skating, and it's what earned Hellskate a place on this list. Well, that and the fact that it blends RPG and combat mechanics into a fun skating experience. There's nothing like the feeling of a project blending some of your most enjoyed genres together, but only time will tell if this one is going to be something worth putting the skate series down for. He does tend to be quite picky about these types of games, so you'll get our honest opinion on it if we're lucky enough to cover it. Life 
to the living, death to the dead. Despite how spooky this game feels, it has that aura of curiosity around it that makes me want to hop in and explore the depth the story is offering from the trailer alone. A dead partner, ghosts that haunt us, and gigantic monsters with creepy eyes that are going to haunt my dreams. Well, our cozy crew might disapprove, but we're bigger fans of the RPG genre than you might understand, so if we get the chance, we'll be checking out this one for sure. Hi there, I'm Carla Rylance, Head of External Production at Behaviour Interactive, and I'm excited to tell you about Islands of Insight. The idea of running around a peaceful world with friends, solving puzzles, and exercising a few of my brain cells sounds like a good time if I'm being honest. Ducky and I used to sit there and watch Cracking the Cryptic's daily Sudoku puzzles at night together. It was literally our winding down activity, so any game that's going to let us work our mind muscles and share the experience is one that sits pretty high on our interest list. If we're able to, we'll share our thoughts on Islands of Insight after its release. Society has rules. It decides where you belong. And what you're worth. Yo ho and a bottle of rum, anyone? And while my rum days are behind me, my desire to hoist a sail and yell arg to my digital crewmates is very much alive and thriving. Ubisoft is bringing a slightly more realistic take on the open world pirate exploration experience. And I have to admit, it feels like Black Flag met Sea of Thieves in a blender, but I'm okay with that concept. So if and when I get the chance, we'll be checking it out for ourselves. I mentioned earlier in the video that we're fans of all things RPG, and The Thaumaturge has Ducky so on the edge of his seat for its release that I had to double and triple check that our request to cover it was submitted. The idea of defeating and taming evil spirits to do our bidding sounds just too intriguing not to check out. Honestly, out of any game on this list, this would be the one to entice them enough to spend a bit of our gaming budget on, so I'm pretty confident you can expect our coverage. This is not the first time that this game has made it into one of our videos, and I'm not ashamed to say that I left Riot Forge a detailed email about our pure love for all things League of Legends, and that blending their lore with the cozy genre had my heart pitter-patting with excitement. You might find that silly, but I personally can't wait for shenanigans with Heimerdinger and Corky. And while you probably don't understand that reference if you're not a League player, just know that it's going to cater to the casual crew, so look forward to a good month. Speaking of games for the casual crew to look forward to, I put way too many hours into Garden Life, a cozy simulator's demo during the last Steam Next Fest, and I'm incredibly excited that its release date is nearly here. If the idea of planting flowers for hours on end, fulfilling orders, decorating your plot of land however you want, and waking up to new seeds and colors every day, then this is one to add to your wish list for sure. We will be doing our best to cover it, so something to look forward to later in the month. Awaken your first portal and tread on towards that which is boundless, beyond the measurable. The survival genre is having an uprising in 2024. That much is obvious by the eclectic mix of releases that we're going to see this year. Nightingale is throwing its diversity into the fray by offering to transport you to the world of the Fae, and greets you with giant monsters that will either befriend or make a foe out of you. I'm intrigued by what we've seen from the trailers and over the course of its development, but I'm always hesitant with new entries into the survival world. 
If we can cover it, we'll do our best. But if not, you'll have to share your own thoughts and whether it feels unique enough in the genre to check out. Wow, was this, was this taken right here? Mm-hmm, probably only a year before he died. Any fans of the interactive fiction and casual genres will appreciate our next feature. Open Roads is releasing this month and it's not the first time it's been in a video on the channel. I usually struggle to stay entertained through interactive fiction titles myself, but honestly this one's story seems just too intriguing to ignore. If I have time, I might just try and cover it to see what's lying beneath the surface of its casual appearances, as something tells me there's more twist to the story than we can understand from the trailers. Our casual crew might want to look away for this one, as its age requirement and eerie vibes might be an immediate deterrent. That being said, we know too many fans of the thriller and RPG genres not to feature it, as it seems to be a promising new entry into the gaming world. Its unique driving and racing mechanics blended with first-person storytelling in between? Well, let's just say our interest is piqued. I'm not confident we'll be covering this, but if you do end up playing, feel free to share your thoughts on it. admittedly, have never played the first brothers A Tale of Two Sons, but I am hoping I'll get the chance to experience this one. If you've been around the channel for a while, you'll know I'm a sucker for a good puzzle game, and this one seems like a playful yet heartfelt and touching experience that I can't ignore it. Tell us in the comments if you played the first one, and hopefully we'll be able to share our experience of this one with you as well. If you're looking for a cute and cozy game that delves into the management and social genres, then Manami Lane might just be one you should check out. You'll get to manage a variety of different shops and will be responsible for managing the whole street. So you better get used to the idea of befriending your neighbor now, otherwise they might not be willing to pay for your overpriced coffee. Teasing aside, this looks like a great little casual game for our cozy crew, so check it out if you haven't already. Winter Survival is a game that got brought to my attention rather recently. We have a few members in our community who are fans of the survival genre, ourselves included. And while we're not planning on covering it, it's only fair that we feature it considering so many of our fort friends do enjoy that hardcore, more realistic style of survival craft games. This one definitely seems more intense than your average entry with its sanity system. So you'll have to let us know if it ends up being a title worth playing. We're still here at the scene of this terrible disaster, caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We haven't stopped hearing about this game since it was announced, and any Final Fantasy or JRPG fans should be rightly excited about the remastered version of Final Fantasy VII. It's a staple in the franchise, and there's more than just a few people excited. So if that's you, you're looking forward to a great month because its release date is finally here. It's unlikely we'll be able to cover it, but let us know how it is in the comments once you've had a chance to play. This feature is for our cozy and casual crew that really don't care about the story or depth of a game because sometimes you just need to make stuff look pretty, or edgy, or just neat. And honestly, Furnish Master caters to all of those whims, so it's worth a good look if what I just described matches you. From what we've seen on socials, the dev has put a lot of care into it, so as simple as it might seem, it's probably best not to let surface appearances deter you. I'm not positive we'll be covering it, but it's highly likely one of our recommended creators will be. 
So check them out on our channel page if you're interested in this one. I've mentioned being a fan of both the RPG and survival genres, and I particularly love when base building or colony management is baked in. Robin Hood Sherwood Builders seems like it's going to offer a blend of all three of those, and I'm excited for it. I'll be the first to say that I'm never convinced from trailers alone when it comes to games in this particular genre, but if it holds up to its promises, then we might just see a fun entry with this one. This one will be a, if we can check it out we will, but if you already have intentions of playing day one, feel free to fill us in with any details after the release. And we've reached another one of our lists. Make sure you tell us what games you're going to be picking up and playing, or any that you've tossed on your wish list and plan to side-eye for the rest of eternity. Also, out of all the games, tell us which ones you'd like to see us cover the most. We do our best to ensure we're providing coverage for games our community likes to see, so never be afraid to ask for something specific. Obviously, we can't cover everything, but that doesn't stop us from trying. To any developers watching, feel free to contact us via email or fill out our coverage and or request forms to put your game on our radar. We don't say it lightly when we say we're being overwhelmed by recent growth and interest, so we don't care if it's six months away, it's better to tell us about it now. That's going to be it for this video, but thank you again to all the love you've shown our channel lately. It's been quite the exciting ride this month, and we look forward to see what February brings as well. With that, we'll say thanks for watching, and until next time.